educate physicians in this country. There's a lot of research around this in the United States <coughs> medical education that we take caring, compassionate people into our medical schools. So it does not look as though the problem is our selection. People are come with open hearts and with compassion and love. And there is a lot of data that looks at what happens one year into medical training, two years into medical training. What the studies show is that one year, two years into training, empathy and compassion in the people that, that were empathetic, loving people when they came in has, has plummeted. So yeah, we are still... Uh, see, if you want flowers to grow in your garden, you don't have to think flowers. You don't have to chant flowers. You just have to think of soil, manure, water, sunlight. Nothing to do with flowers. If you handle filth well, flowers will happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. If you handle filth well, flowers will happen. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Those people who think of flowers, they will end up with Chinese-made plastic flowers. They will not have flowers. So we are again thinking of empathy, compassion, love. These are all consequences of a human being being in a certain way. We are trying… see the, the whole approach of the intellect is go for the fruit, goal-oriented. No, not the fruit, the root. You nurture the root, fruit will happen. Fruit is a consequence. You are shooting for the consequence without being interested in the cause. <laughs> That's not going to produce long-term results. Then this is what you will end up with, something that will work short-term and then that itself becomes a huge problem. Right now, healthcare system itself is a huge problem. The very fact that pharmaceutical industry is the second largest industry on the planet speaks volumes about our health, isn't it? People tell me, I do not know the statistic, these are all things which are… Uh, you know, being circulated on the internet and things like that. They say almost thirty-seven percent of the medicine, all kinds of medicines manufactured in the world are consumed by Americans themselves. Uh, they don't even account for a minuscule of the population and if they're con consuming thirty-seven percent, either they're paranoid about their health or really they're unhealthy. One of these things must be true, isn't it? So, we need to look at this. If you want this to enter the medical school, one simple way is, if the medical school can start in some way, we can… we can prescribe a method with which… First, one who wants to touch somebody else's body should make some effort to know about his own.